Welcome back, everybody. An interesting new play called The River Bride by Maricela Trevino Orta, I really hope I didn't butcher that, is a haunting and evocative piece that brings a Brazilian folktale to life, and it's playing now at the Arvada Center. So here to tell us more is actress Katie Rodriguez. <laughs> Katie, did I totally just butcher that? <laughs> You're good. Okay. You're good. Maricela Trevino Orta, you had it. That, that was way more beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Well, Katie, I'm so happy to have you here. This is so exciting. What is The River Bride about? I'm, I'm excited to hear about, about this play. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Yes. The River Bride is a cautionary fairy tale that is based on Brazilian folklore. And it is a play that is set in magical realism, which means that line of fantasy and realism is sort of blurred throughout the storytelling. And it is one of three plays written by Maricela. Oh my gosh, tell yeah. me more. So are there more plays that we can, that we'll be able to see by her? Yes, her? well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it'll be produced at the Arvada Center, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Wolf at the Door is one of them and it's escaping my memory right now, the third one, but uh, Wolf at the Door is also very good and very haunting uh, wow. based on folklore as well. Incredible, yeah. <laughs> I really like this blurred line too, cause that's kind of how I like, I wanna almost live my life. <laughs> this blurred line of like fan, fantastic. Absolutely. That is so wonderful. <laughs> So let's talk about you. You're in the play. You're not yes. just in the play. What character do you play? I play Elena, and she is the older sister, uh, which I'm also an older sister. And you know, the play opens with they're getting uh, ready for the younger sister's wedding, which my brother just proposed. So oh. I'm really pulling to play this part. Yeah. Oh my um, and yeah, so we meet the Costa family, and then a mysterious man is pulled out of the Amazon River, and the story begins. Wow, okay, <laughs> well I was gonna ask if you feel like you have any connections with your character, it sounds like you have a lot. Oh goodness, <laughs> yes, 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 especially, you know, this story, uh, it really questions uh, people's relationship with love and falling in love and loyalty and, and whether you're cautious or, or you're more open to taking leaps of faith and that, and that's obviously something I think we all deal with, especially, yes. <laughs> especially myself. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so that's, I feel like the deepest connection I have that's with cool. Elena. Well, oh my goodness. So, I mean, especially because your family is so involved in terms of the story <laughs> too. Was your family pretty excited to hear about the role you'd be playing? Oh, absolutely. Well, my mom started <laughs> cracking up. She's like, oh, what's the character? I was like, oh, you know, an older sister, <laughs> the little Jack. siblings getting married. Jack. <laughs> I was like, she's a little cautious in love, and my mom just started cracking up. Oh my goodness, that is so wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so I want to talk to you about what you hope audiences get from this play, because this sounds like it can really relate to a lot of people in life. Absolutely. I think the story holds a lot of questions, and I hope it leaves the audience leaving, I hope the audience leaves questioning their own life and questioning whether they are willing to take a leap of faith and, and questioning how bold they're willing to be in love and how bold they're willing to be in any life choice and trusting themselves and yeah, there's a lot of fun themes and, yeah. and things involved with it. Oh my gosh, that sounds so wonderful. Okay, well, I wanna talk about the theater too. I know that we you know, just came out of the pandemic and everything and there were some restrictions during COVID. Anything that we have to be aware of when we come to the theater? When you come to the theater, you're all set. Uh, enjoy the show. If you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, by all means, wear a mask. Yes. Uh, the actors, uh, we, we are testing every day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I know that we're safe and yes. whatever makes you feel safest while you come to visit. Excellent. How do we get tickets? Yes, you could visit the Arvada Center website, arvadacenter.org, or you could go ahead and call the box office and they would be happy to help you out as well. Wonderful. Well, Katie, I'm so excited because you you and I were talking uh, during commercial break. You said that you're from Miami, you live in New York, you're here in Denver now, which is so awesome <laughs> for this play. I mean, so many, especially young women, it seems like these days want to break into this, you know, acting and getting into the theater. Do you have any advice for any of them out there? Oh my goodness. I think believing in yourself is the number one thing. It's a hard business and you're gonna hear a lot of no's and as long as you are okay with that and, and you know that this is something at your core that you have to do and you believe in you, just work hard and show up and, and be kind to everyone around you and work produces work. Wow, I feel like that's <laughs> great advice for anybody. That's wonderful. <laughs> Do you have anybody that inspired you to, to get to this point in your life? Oh my goodness, I mean, 
there are so many actors <laughs> that I admire and look up to, but I'm certainly so lucky to have such a supportive family and not all actors are that lucky and, and my family is great. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> but they're, they're so wonderful. They even came from Miami to come see the show. So oh gosh, I'm really amazing. lucky in that. <laughs> you are, you have an incredible family. Well, Katie, lady, you. congratulations. <laughs> this is really exciting. I'm really excited to see the play and hear more. And uh, good luck, break a leg. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> Well, guys, this is one you're going to want to check out. Check out this haunting and evocative play that brings Brazilian folk tales to life. The River Bride runs in the Black Box Theater now through November 6th. Tickets start at $45. You can head to arvadacenter.org for tickets and more information.